I like how they went out of their way on all kinds of different uh, papers to go with the UFC vibe. I'll show you some more examples later. It's pretty funny actually. <laughs> hey. Oh, oh right. there you are. Okay. That's hey, these guys. You want to see you? Hey, buddy. Good to see you. Hello. Honorary Raptor. <laughs> hey, well, hey nice to see you guys. Hey, uh, we're good. We're good. How's your weight? My weight? Yeah. Excellent. I was at 84 and a half this morning. Okay. So that's bang on. Are that's we doing it with face masks? I'm, I'm done, mate. I'm getting out of the way. I'm just okay, swapping. Yeah. No, you can take it you off. You can take it for the interview. Cheers, mate. Thanks. Thanks, guys. There you go. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Love it. Fresh from the print. Love it. I'm gonna send you boys a box of stuff out to the gym so you've got a load of stuff. Thank We've got some lovely red socks that you're gonna like as well. Red, no, you like the fancy. Any red panties? I can sort them out <laughs> for you, mate, as long as you send me a photo. Yeah, I will. <laughs> I promise you. Perfect. Catch you later. See you later. See you. Is this fine? Uh, so how are you? I'm on the street. Looking at you on the camera. Moving the camera. Well, I'm doing pretty good. It's been uh, it's been fun so far. Uh, quite the experience, first time in the, in the Middle East. So that in itself was uh, was fun. Uh, it's great to be here. It's been a long time since my last fight. It's been ten months now, and before that fight, I'd done six fights in, in basically just over a year. Uh, so it's been it's been weird for me in, in that sense to uh, to not have fought for, for a long time, um, but the pandemic situation has not actually been too bad in Denmark. I've been able to train a lot, uh, have a lot of home training equipment, uh, and because uh, Denmark, the Danish government were pretty uh, ahead uh, with the regulations, uh, my gym opened up, I think, 10 or 11 weeks ago, so I've been able to, to put in some great training, especially for this fight. Absolutely, I expect him to, to bring the best out of me. I've been training very hard for this fight. Of course, he came in three weeks before, but he's still a southpaw and he's he's not the exact same fighter as I was supposed to face, but uh, we've been working on some great stuff that uh, that translates into this uh, to this fight as well. So, uh, yeah, we got some, some nice, things, nice things up our sleeve. Yeah. Feel free to take pictures, everything, yeah? And I will explain to you about the cars. It depends exactly what you want to experience, you know, because we have four different type of cars and it's this different way of driving with this ones, yeah? If you want something thrilling, scary a little bit, very loud, you have this little toy over here, Keteram S7. This is the latest edition we have in our racing school, so uh, we own around six cars of this. We bought them cash from the UK, it's a British brand, and it has also pedal shift. 
So the uh, racing driver will take you for a spin, three laps. So all these uh, cars here, we have three laps fly, fly you know, flying. And uh, yeah, it's a great car. If you need more grip, if you need a grip that you feel the car is really stick on the ground, late brake, fast through the corners, no electronics, like no ABS, no traction. It has motorbike engine Hayabusa 1.3, 210 horsepower. The second option, we call it SST, Radical SST, yeah? And you have the famous Austin Martin GT4, proper racing car from factory. We are the first racing school in the world to receive this fleet. So we bought them cash, six of these cars, and we received them like a couple of months back. And the last car, which makes a lot of noise under the hotel, I'm messy, maybe I'm the most wanted person over there, because you know, I wake up a lot of people. So that's me driving that car, <laughs> the, the yellow Camaro. So it's quite slow on the corners, but it's all drifting, you know? So you have the transitions and the movement inside the car is really cool. So feel free to take photos. I will show you how it looks inside the Austin Martin, you know? and then decide what you can uh, do because we've been yeah we've been so busy in the uh, we have busy schedule in the last couple of days and tomorrow so we have only a chance you, you have a chance to pick one car uh, before we used to have like multi but because of you know servicing the cars it takes a lot of time yeah so you can decide what you want yeah in terms of uh, price wise it's um, this car is 66 dollars $35, $35, and the last one is $58. But this one is like you stick on the ground, you have more G force. Yeah, it's faster. Yes, it's faster. From the G force, you know, from your main G force brake. On the straight, when you hit the straight, which is faster, the red or the white? No. Open from this two? We can say this one, a little bit more. Not, not, to be honest, not very, very much, but a little bit more of this one. What are you going to try? I'm going for the first one, the most expensive one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was thinking about that one as well. Now the, the physio said that's the best one to go for. Yeah. What about you, Brad? What are you picking? I don't know, I kind of... Yeah, well, with no roof on, one of those two, because you feel how exactly. fast you're going. I thought the exact same thing, being in the wind and... Yeah, you can feel it, you feel yeah. it. That's the noisiest one, that's the one we hear about. Yeah, I would love to try the white one and the yellow one, but if you can only get one go. You only get one go, if you get more one. I think you said that. Really? Yeah. 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 Uh, I was part of the development team because of the heat in Abu Dhabi. Yeah. As a standard Camaro, it cannot last for two laps, two, two corners, not two laps, and then it start to overheat because it's very high temperature. Yeah. So we did a lot of cooling system in the car. The engine is standard, but the exhaust is very, very loud. I will start the engine later on when they change the tires. It's really cool. Yeah. So you want to, for three cars, you don't need to wear your suit. Okay. The Camaro, Austin Martin, and the red car, you don't need to wear a race suit. Okay. So, you know, you will be flexible. Yeah. We give you just helmet and you yeah. get on. If you want to pick the second car, we do have race suits, so we can provide it. Okay. And then we get you on, yeah? Perfect. All right. Decide which car. Yes, and actually it seems like we all want to try the white one. The white one? You mean yeah. is this one or the Aston Martin? No, uh, the, the open one. The, this one, yeah? Yeah, basically, yeah. but the one. The yeah. SST, sorry. Thank you very much. So let's go for the soda. Yeah. You don't need to warm up the tires, to be honest. Is it okay if I leave my bag here? Perfect. Like when you're in Europe, you need a couple of laps to warm to the optimum you know, temperatures and then they can push. You learned a bit. Yeah, 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 I picked some up. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. All right. Sure. All the best. We'll see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think I'm sitting on my iPhone to obtain loot, for the loot is not exactly good. So could I have it in Brussels? So I can follow some only audio. That's what it was felt. My racing suit. Oh, yeah. Let's do it.
Exhale on the shoulders and huh? Exhale on the shoulders and small in the waist. It's, it's big <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so everyone is first. Remove the shoes so it goes inside easily. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come here, Dean. Come on. The Ferratus, come and fix it. Yeah. I had to come back and my crew. Bad boys. Bad boys. Come on, Dean. One second. Oh, thank you, sir. Let's see if we fix up what I got some like you. Yeah. Excited? Yeah. Have you tried this before? Uh, yeah. Scared that one. Yeah. Did, did you just go? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Is it tight enough? Is it so tight or it's good tight? It's it's good. Okay. Is it okay to hold this in my hand? Yeah, that's what I'm just checking with them. Yeah, I will hold. Is it tight enough? It will be holding? Yes. Okay. You can feel. Oh, one guy you should catch the car, otherwise you will be moving. Yeah, so you yeah, can just hold it with this hand. Yeah. This hand you have to hold it here. Yeah, sure. Okay? Thank you. So for time being, I'll hold this one. Thank you. <laughs> Hold it tight, yeah? Yes, I will. Okay. I promise. I'll use my legs as well. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
<laughs> How was it? That was amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> that was good fun. Oh, that was fun. Show. The Tailberg. I cried all the way. All the way. How was that, Brad? That was good. It was fun. Noisy and hot. Yeah, it's gonna go. Starts off a bit nervous, and then I'm like, ah, oh, it's cool. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah it's good. Nice to feel the G, G, yeah. uh, G forces. I was in the white one. How was that? It was fast. Fast. Like, I don't even have a driver's license. Yeah? Yeah. So that's the fastest I've gone in a car in my life. Are you doing number one or? I think we can only do one. Ah, oh, really? So. Unfortunately. I'd love to try the yellow one as well. Yeah. God damn, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> Oh man, that was uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun riding in those cars. I, it was just like a big go kart. Uh, I think the max speed was 190 kilometers per hour, which is plenty fast when it basically feels like a go kart. Sorry, another car coming through. So yeah, besides being fast, it's also very noisy and very hot. Uh, great experience though. We already uh, we already uh, set us up for uh, for getting some more rides on Sunday. Uh, he's got to confirm it, but I hope it happens so we can we can go for some more rides after the fight. <laughs> We're having a full day to spend here at the hotel before our flight out at I think Monday morning 2 a.m. So could be fun to to get in some more laps and uh, yeah get to spend some of that win bonus. <laughs>